Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I'm Mixorf and uh, we are uh, still... Oh, Jesus, there are more rats coming. <laughs> no time to think. Ah! Whoa, you are too much right now. <laughs> yeah, they can swarm you quite easily, these guys. If I hadn't upgraded my health, I would be dead now. So if I hadn't up upgraded my health, I wouldn't have made it this lot far either, so... I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. Oh, too many branching paths. Or, not really, but, but still. I'm actually quite happy with, uh, with how these levels are laid out. I hear ya. Though I don't know from where. Like, why would we be hearing them here? Trap. What could a trap be? All of these are mimics? Or is it just the one? Alright, we can actually tell by how the chain is curled, so this is not a mimic then. Old Sulky. Ah, cool. And we probably... Oh, nice. That's where you're coming from. I see what you mean. Okay. That's quite enough. Jesus, these are very tricky to actually handle properly. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That was close. I was ran right into the corner as well, which could have cost me my life. Um, we got the old cell key, which probably look at that. These are the oldest cell in the Erythal dungeon. The first prisoner of the dungeon was a lone giant. Cells for men were built at his feet. Okay, so this giant is the first prisoner. Hmm. So why would they have imprisoned a giant? And cells for men were built at his feet. We have a bunch of cells further up. Maybe they were built later. Um, kind of want to see if we can't get a freaking bonfire in here. So we'll try this path first. I know I tend to like run back and forth a lot, um, and I always try to. I try to take the easiest path first, I guess. Oh, several of these big rats now. I'm glad they aren't as troublesome as the big rats of, uh, of Dark Souls 1, though. Gotcha. Tank pies. Generally not something I would use. Oh, it is taking us back into uh, towards the prison. I think so. Ah, oh, god damn it. There are like no shortcuts or anything here. Alright, I suppose we're taking care of the Mimic first. Oh, you're one of the weird ones. Oh, 
Whoa! Okay, I thought it was dead. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't. A dark clattering. Guessing it's the same lore, since it was the same lore on both the previous one. Increases dark attack because of my sweat and damage absorption. Yeah, it's the exact same. I would really want to... Hmm, maybe we should try to think about where we've um, seen shortcuts before. I know there was a path from further down um, that looked like a shortcut. I mean, I don't like the idea of uh, fighting these guys in an open area. Uh, since they do that horrible frenzy attack. I mean, these guys. There are like so many of them <laughs> here as well. I wonder if we can try to lure them over here. Okay, that kind of worked. I wonder if we can do that to everyone, even though that we didn't actually hit with any of the knives there. I wonder if it's like a line of sight thing or whatever it could be. It was line of sight in... Um, Jesus, there's a crazy amount of these guys here. And I'm just trying to roll out of here now. And I can certainly lose more health than I thought I could. Hopefully, we won't lose it even more now. That's just insane. Like, look at that. <laughs> How are you supposed to deal with that? There's still more than one, which is less than ideal. I can't seem to hit them with... Um, I wonder if there's a nice way to, like... Ah, that's not at all what I want to do. And that's not at all what I want to do either. What is going on right now? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, I guess I got, like, marked. I could see the burn mark on me. I guess that's what supposedly happens. Uh, with that attack. How are there still two of you? I thought I had taken care of them. What I wanted to do was to use the fucking throwing knife. If we're lucky, this might send one of them over. Ah, I know that's hurting me, but... I don't know if there's a way to attack them without that being... There are still two of them! Are they, like, respawning? Because there have been two of them for a long time now. <laughs> Much longer than there should have been. So I know that there was a lot right from the get-go, but still. Okay. Hopefully there's just the one left now. You can deal with them one at a time. They don't have too much health and... Uh, I mean, that is assumed that they don't actually respawn, which kind of felt like they did. Uh, that might just be my imagination.
I want to make sure that they're fairly close by when we actually do uh, go for it. Probably have their back turn as well. I think it didn't have time to do the that attack now. It might be a case of this supposedly being, or this being supposed to be like a sneaking part, and I completely ruined that. Uh, the Titan Shard probably want to take this moment to actually collect stuff in this main area. Oh, there we got the Alva stuff. I'm gonna head back a bit to uh, to look at that. Protection, protection of Alva, seeker of the spurned. This steel body armor was trimmed to reduce height uh, to re reduce weight. Uh, to this day, troubadours sing of tales of one of the wandering knight Alva and his travels, and of his involvement with the saint and the witch. Needless to say, the song traditionally traditionally ends in tragedy. Involvement with the saint and the witch. Who were the saint and the witch? Huh. Was there something about that in the weapon that we picked up? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Not sure. Couldn't go up here. Nice ember. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, start from the start of this area. <laughs> Rather than uh, heading in all sorts of weird directions. If we're lucky this could lead up to the shortcut. Oh, that's probably not good. What is that? Like, seriously, what is that? I certainly don't trust you to be just a hollowed out armor. It even gave some, uh... Okay. We will pick that up, whatever that is, in, uh, in a bit <laughs> after we actually trigger this thing. But it should, uh... Seems like it would be a shortcut. Hopefully it brings us up. And that's the place we want to jump down. Okay, I think I know where we are now. Though I don't... quite remember what leads us here. Are we on the other side? And then down, or are we, is this the same side with the window on top? Maybe we should actually try to make sure that we know that. Yeah, this is the bit with all of these, so this would be on the other side, I believe. Now, maybe we should try to open up the, the other cells and see if the old cell leads there. I would guess not, since it was, uh, they were talking about the, um, uh, the giant. Oh, hello there. <laughs> sort of forgot where I was there. And that kind of scared me once more. Nope, that's still locked. And I'm almost certain that the other one is as well. But no, no harm in trying. Nope. Okay. Probably want to try to go for the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lightning blade. Will I actually survive this fall? Uh, we can hope, I guess. 
Now I don't have any S Estus at all or any way to heal myself, but I don't really have any other choice. Um, let's um, check out that spell. Miracle allegedly wielded by a certain dragon slayer knight in the Age of Gods. Reinforces right hand weapon with lightning. Uh, tales of dragon slayers are now a rare thing, told only in fragments and whispers uh, in remote regions. I wonder if that's supposed then to be um, Ornstein, since uh, he's uh, lightning based. So I guess lightning is what you would use against um, dragons in general. Okay, cool. We survived. Now, if we have to fight these things. I'm guessing we can't count on any um, any more what's it called? Any more bonfires anywhere close? So maybe we just run, trying a torso stone. Okay, so nothing happened. Is that? Similar to in Dark Souls 1, where you can use a item to become part of dragon. That's kind of crazy. Gain dragon torso and roar like a dragon. Stone imbued with the power of the everlasting dragons, used in a secret rite by dragon worshippers. Gain the torso of a dragon and a dragon's roar, a transformation that is irreversible until death. From ancient times, the path to dragon worship was uh, walked by warriors. It is said the ambition arch dragon peak in the depths of their meditation, and at times they even hear the distant sound of the great bell at their peak. At the peak. Okay. The arch dragon peak. That's not something we heard of before. I'm pretty sure. And there's a great bell up there. All right. What is next? Yeah, one of these horrible things. Now they're just all over the place. That's not nice. We will want to run out of here so we can change weapons. Because I don't think I have anything else that I can actually use equipped. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see quickly. Uh, what else was sharp again? This thing was. And it should be pretty fast as well, so I should be good with this one as well. We didn't wake up all of them by doing that. I wonder why one of them was friendly and no one else. I don't like how stealthy they are. You know, they really shouldn't be. God, it's so freaky. Great, now we have more than one of them on us. Whoa. What even is this? And it's going through walls. Of course it is. Whoa, and I'm almost dead now. And I can't heal either. Okay. Might be best at this time. I don't have anything that I can heal with, right? I don't have any... Okay, I have a Divine Blessing. So I'll actually use this, I think. Because I want to keep exploring this area. 
might not be the absolutely best use. Um. But there we are. I mostly want that item over there. Are you an enemy? Or are you just screaming for the sake of it? Are you locked up? Okay, now you're an enemy. <laughs> That's not nice. That's tricking. That's not fair. Ah, I gotcha. I wonder what is up with those guys. Profane coal. Oh, that was probably worth it, wasn't it? Enable dark, lacerating, and hollow infusion. Uh, remnants of the fire that burned down the profane capital. Uh, preserved in an icy skull. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the juice of gems for dark, blood, and hollow infusion. All right. Let me open this up now. Get an alternate way of leaving this place. Oh, there are more mimics and oh, this is a horrible place. I love it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, that is definitely a monster, and I don't want to waste any more. Um, I suppose it would be good to just be able to safely explore the rest of this place. What is going to happen in here? Xanthus Ashes. Well, that got to me once more. <laughs> I will never not get to me, I don't think. Um, yeah, let's grab some more items here. I need to remember to... Um, we need to remember those items that we just picked up. Okay. Oh, we don't want to... Get caught up in there. Just the one, right? That we can take. But this is fast as hell, too. It just adds another layer of hellishness to it. So you're saying it's pointless. I might take your word for it, at this point at least. What about this place? Is this also pointless? Oh, it's locked. I'm guessing it's not pointless then. Hmm. Okay, so Mimic first. Then uh, we should probably be thinking about heading back uh, to the Firelink Shrine. If we can actually survive this, that is. Okay, so you're one of the two-legged ones. Whoa! Okay, I rolled, but I almost got hit anyway. And I got hit anyway, so if I can escape this, we'll do that. I am totally stuck here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I want more items. I want humanities that actually heal me when used. Oh, it actually turns back into a chest. That's weird. I need to get out of here, like right now. <laughs> I 
I thought for sure it would stop chasing me. I wonder what happens if it actually falls down. I'm gonna turn back into a chest. <laughs> this is a bit silly, isn't it? I think we'll actually just... Oh, where's the lever? Okay, it's out here. <laughs> I thought we lost the elevator. Though, that wouldn't be too bad. It would just mean that we'd have to uh, use a homeward bone to get back home. Man. I guess we could just use, since we... Yeah, there's no point in not doing that. Uh, we have the this and we're not using it for anything else. <laughs> that sound. It gives us, yeah, tight night scales. Totally worth it. And yeah, we're heading back for sure. This is a really cool place. And I'm kind of hating it <laughs> at the same time. Oh, Jesus, stop scaring me. I guess we can just use the homeward bone so that we don't have to run all the way back there. How many do we have? We have 14, so let's just use one. And uh, head back to the shrine bonfire. It kind of hurts me to uh, resurrect all of these uh, enemies that we took care of. Um, but uh, but yeah, we can we kill them once, we can kill them again. I'm fairly sure. And uh, of course I'll just skip past it next time we have to do it. So uh, what do we want to do? Yeah, right, check, check out the items. Um, First of all, the Xanthus Ashes. Umbral Ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long lost land. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. They were called Xanthus Scholars, but some foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. You also got a new ring. One that I did recognize from uh, the Dusk Crown Ring. Reduces spell FP consumption, but also lowers HP. Leaf-colored crown ring bestowed upon the uh, princess of Ulasil, ancient land of golden sorceries. Reduces spell FP consumption, but also lowers HP. Ulasil is synonymous for its uh, lost sorceries, of which the Santa uh, sorcerers are dedicated scholars. This crown ring is a rare artifact uh, of great magic heritage. Hmm. So... I guess it was a Santa scholar or Santa sorcerer who was down there. And that's what we got this from. Either that or someone uh, trying to um, study the uh, Ulasil sorceries. Of course, that's also a possibility. Uh, let's give you some umbral ash. Uh, first, the excrement covered ashes. Passing fine ash, thou hast given Ah, sure. Let's, uh,. Let's call that fine ash, sure. <laughs> I was actually expecting some flavor dialogue from, from her there. Dunk pie. Did we check the lore on this? Dried fecal weight material moist on the inside. Uh, I think we've seen that already, right? Stock dunk pie. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that is so disgusting. <laughs> Dried fecal weight material, material marked by a long uh, plant stock that was not properly digested. <laughs> So behind that enemies doing flock talk to build up but also uh, up to your own toxicity. So this is like the uh, um the firebombs on a string. Strictly speaking, this consists of different materials than the dung pie, but waste is waste. No sense in splitting hairs. <laughs> yeah, sure. Volnir's crown, did we see this before? I don't think so. Crown of Volnir, the Carthage Conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed just judiciously uh, to each of the rightful lords, until Volnir brought them uh, to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one, and Volnir, the one high lord. What else? Yeah, let's uh, see what the Santa's ashes give you. The standard dialogue. Oh, the uh, Santa's overcoat. 
yellowish overcoat covering a band of brass medallions. Uh, Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries, and the number of medallions denotes their success. Uh, a point of pride for the researchers, even if its significance is lost to, on others. Okay, so the pro person down there was probably not an actual Xanthus. Or maybe the Xanthus sorcerers weren't from Wallaceal. Ah, I don't know. Maybe they were just the ones studying things. Xanthus clothing is a mark of researchers of lost sorcery. Okay, we already seen this. Um, and it is said that with golden sorceries, one could manipulate light. Uh, pretty cool though. Not going to pick it up right now, but it's kind of cool. Oh, we got horror stuff now. Steel helm of Horus the Hushed, uh, who took a liking to its cold, bulky insides. The original owner was said to be a corrupt executioner, <laughs> executioner, who was killed and stripped of his armor. Horus is one of only two children to escape Aldrich's clutches. Horus is one of only two children to escape Aldrich's clutches. So it's that, like for the children I once knew, that Arnie uh, said. Was he talking about Horus and possibly another child, um, child or possibly him? It's probably that he and Horus escaped from Aldrich. And they knew other children there. And that's why they have to do this. Um, because they knew the people that didn't escape. That is kind of interesting. Um, right, so did we... Was there something else? Yeah, we got some new coal and we got some Estus shards. Ah, tis good, what needs? Uh, reinforced Estus flask. Awesome. And give a coal. No the profane coal. Where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Mm -hmm. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains, does it not? Yeah, I suppose so. We will go with fate so we can use the... Um, the second chance or whatever, uh, magic. Do we have enough attunement for that? I think we might need another attunement slot, uh, unless we want to lose both our healing magics. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably uh, uh, increase the achievement a bit until we get there. That's cool. Um, cool. So we are heading back to whatever the place was called. The Aerithal Dungeon. Um, oh god, this is not a fun place. Or, well, actually it is. It's quite a, an awesome place, honestly. But yeah, we'll keep on heading into this uh, place in the next episode. Uh, so until then, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Dark Souls 3. Bye-bye.